What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Stranger Show. Here to about to review White Boy Rick. Now, I saw a trailer about this movie a couple months ago, and actually, the trailer was very interesting, and I was really excited for this movie. So, yes, talk about this movie. It's based off a true story. So, you follow this um, teenager, Rick, who's a drug dealer slash informant for the FBI. So, what I thought about the story, what I thought about this movie, I thought it was a solid movie. It's not the best movie of the year, not only my top 10, not going to win no awards, but overall, I enjoyed my time with the movie. Yes, it has some positives, and yes, it has some negatives. So let's start with the positives, and we're going to start with the acting. Let's start with the main character, Richie Malik, who plays White Boy Rick. And this is his first major movie. And he did a very good performance. I really, I thought he did a very good job in this movie. I really enjoyed his performance. I thought he was very, uh, he portrayed character very well. He was really good in this movie. So I enjoyed his performance overall. And I'd like to see him do other stuff because I thought he was very good. Let's talk about one of the, uh, another positive, the father and son relationship with Reggie Mellet, uh, Reggie Mellet and his father played by Matthew McConaughey. I liked that they relationship. They, they, I thought they had very good chemistry. So I really liked them when they had scenes together. I thought that was very well done. One of the standouts of the movie is Matthew McConaughey. I really enjoyed his character. I thought he did he was one of the best parts of the movie and his character had he had his character was not one dimensional and, it, and his character had layers. So and I, I really appreciate he really cared about his kids. But uh, where he's living in they are not the they're not living in the best traditions and he tries to do his best for his Family and I really enjoy Matthew Carhey brought his A game to this movie and he did a very good performance. Uh, uh, he's he's a standout. He's the standout of the movie. Another positive: not only they do some good performances, everybody does a great performance in this movie, and that's some of the positives I have to say about the movie. The music is good. I uh, this movie takes place in the '80s, so I like the look of the. Uh, the movie and uh, you know the style of the movie, the hairstyles, the, the way they dress in. I, I love, I love all that. Love that that eighties style in the movie. It takes place in Detroit when Detroit was in a decline. I did like the, the setting where the movie takes place. So all of them are positive. Just talk about the negatives. The negatives. Uh, it has pacing issues. Sometimes it's up and sometimes down. Especially in the throw that. The throw that has very bad pacing. And that, that's one problem with the movie. The movie doesn't really have good pacing. Uh, sometimes you into the movie. Sometimes the movie takes you out. The pacing is one of the worst parts of the movie. Another worst part of the movie. Really, uh, the movie rush. It tried to rush to tell you uh, parts of his life. And it just tries to rush through a bunch of stuff, trying to get to this, trying to get to this point, trying to get to show you, trying to show you this part of his life, this part of his life, and the movie doesn't take time to breathe. And you, and another thing, you will, his character's not really developed. White boy wit, his character's not really developed. And yes, his character's really not as interesting. Yes, he, he, what he's doing is interesting, and uh, what he's evolved in is interesting. But as a care, as a a movie. Uh, as a movie character, um, he's not really that interesting as a character. You take all the stuff, you take all the interesting stuff about him, and this character's very, really boring. He's not really interesting as a character. I just really didn't really care f uh, for him what happens in the end. You know, definitely, uh, it, it, the ending is not the best, and then in a, you try to feel bad for him in the end, but. Overall, that's one part I didn't, didn't like his character, and his character was not really developed. 
Yeah, he drops out of high school. You don't know why he dropped out of high school. And it basically, the movie starts off when he's about to be about to be in a formant for the FBI. So it, I wish they started maybe a little bit early. You can find out maybe his upbringing, uh, stuff like that. I wish you get more develop him as a character, and uh, you did. So that's one problem I had with the movie. And then all the main problems I had with the movie, the directing overall was solid. Some parts of the movie, uh, I didn't like the decision that the director made. But overall, I thought the direction was pretty uh, pretty good. I thought the movie was solid. Definitely has its problems with the, how the story is told and pacing. Them are the main problems I have with the movie. And the, the character was not really interesting and not really developed as much. So, uh, I overall, I really enjoyed White Boy Wit. Yes, it has its problems, but it has its positives too. So, I give White Boy Wit a... 6.5 out of a 10. If you like this review, comment, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next Straight Edge Show Review. Peace.